Hello there viewers, in this video I'm going to set up and test the Sony Blu-ray home theater system. So this is the actual uh, box of this uh, Blu-ray. It's a PDVN 9200W. Total power of 1200 watts with a wireless round speaker. This is uh, one of the top of the line uh, Sony 5.1 Blu-ray home theater. So it consists of uh, four uh, standing speakers, one sub, one center, one receiver, and one player amplifier. The three standing speakers I already uh, finished uh, installing. So this is the remaining uh, Torboy speaker. So just to make this uh, video short, I'll just show it to you the remaining uh, stand, standing speakers, the proper installation. So these uh, Torboy speakers. Uh, I'm attaching the base to the stand so you have to screw uh, the bottom using the Philips screwdriver So this is the speaker wire. We insert the wire from bottom to the middle of the stand. And after that, uh, attach the actual speaker and connect the speaker wire or terminal so now i'm going to do the connection so this is uh, our main uh, unit player and amplifier so there's are uh, the terminals front right front left subwoofer and center speaker we have the optical input LAN cable connection HDMI in one HDMI input number two HDMI output and ERC we have a auto calibration microphone terminal this is for automatic uh, speaker calibration uh, and audio input and FM radio antenna. Okay, so let's go for the connections. So this is the front the speaker. front left speaker the connector is uh, white so just connect to a white terminal with mark uh, front left and this is uh, the front right the plug is color uh, red so just plug it in the main unit that marks uh, front uh, right it's also red terminal
And this is the center speaker. Center speaker is a dedicated speaker for a um, vocal. Okay. Next is the subwoofer. Now the surround amplifier. So this is a amplifier for surround. The surround speaker is a wireless setup. So the two speaker we're going to connect to this uh, surround amplifier. And the good thing, this uh, surround you can place at the back of the room without connecting to the main unit. So just plug in the two surround speaker then uh, plug the amplifier to separate power supply and it automatically it will uh, uh, link with the main uh, unit okay this is uh, the second uh, surround speaker okay that's the ECS connection. Okay, this is uh, the player amplifier of this uh, BDV N9200W. Here's my connection from right, left, subwoofer, and center. HDMI out. I connect this one to uh, HDMI input of the TV. So, and we have uh, HDMI in one, in two. This one is for external sources let's say gaming consoles android box or whatever external flyer you can connect it here okay so this is the final setup i already put one lcd screen then this is the what we call standard setup or the surround speaker was placed at the back at the rear of the room so we call the standard uh, setup okay let's do the initial setup this is the cursor english Set the following item by pressing start. Okay, yes, click start. When turning on the unit, it is possible to shorten the set uh, startup time. On, uh, just use this one to on. So my setup was standard. So standard is the surround was positioned at the the back. Is set to the standard calibrator. I don't have the calibrator right now, but the one is just easy. Just follow the on screen instruction and you can calibrate the per channel. So, in this video, I'm going to use the manual uh, adjustment. So, I just cancel. So, okay, easy network because this home theater comes with the built in Wi Fi. This is a smart uh, Blu ray. Okay, not work, but this one I just cancel. Okay, let's go to settings. We're going to set the screen settings. So, 3D output. Right now, I don't have the 3D TV, so just ignore this one. Screen size, so to maximize the picture quality, so you have to set and follow what is the size of your screen. So right now I'm using a 43 inches. Okay, 43. And okay. TV type, square type or 4x3 and 16 by 9. Screen format, just set this one to full. Aspect ratio, set DVD, 16 by 9 DVD video output to display on a 4x3 screen. 
So this set to standard the let, uh, letter box. Uh, letter box. Cinema conversion, set auto, output resolution. So this TV is a full HD TV, so I can set this one to 1080p, 1080i, or I just set this one to auto. Then video room 24 format to store and auto output. It's a 2D video room 24 feet. You set this one to auto. Okay, I'm done with the uh, screen uh, settings, audio settings, DRC, then audio output. If you you want uh, both the HDMI out or speaker only the sound, uh, this one you can set something. Then here's the speaker uh, settings. So our positioning was the standard. So we have first center on distance level location test two. So let's check the distance. Most of the time, the time the default was 3.0 meters. Uh, 3.0. So I will not adjust this one, but if you want to adjust, you can do it. Level the default was 000. So we have here in the speaker there are for a signal so uh, let's say I would like to increase uh, the front just okay. increase around 2.0 or just 1 1.0 1.0 1.0 need to want the vocal more uh, powerful so I can set this one 2.0 surround uh, I want this one the same level with the front, the 1.0. Then the subwoofer we have maximum of 6.0 dB. So I just set this one to 3.0. If you would like to adjust, then later on you can do that. Then so I'm done with the speaker settings. Okay, let's do some test tune. So this one, uh, if you you like to hear the adjustment, and if your speakers was uh, functioning, uh, you can do the stand tune, uh, test tune. Let's turn on, then turn on the volume. Uh, you can see in the screen, front, surround, surround not working. So my surround is not turn on so I need to plug in power power supply must have a green color so this is the green power indicator it's meaning it's already link so now okay now it's working So this is uh, the all front uh, setup. I'm using a Blu-ray uh, demo disc from uh, Sony. Okay, let's check. 
check the settings we have here in the menu. We have option button. The option button is press. Then we go to the shortcuts. Okay, we have here a sound field. Okay, let's check the sound field. Uh, we have the sets. Plus, we have movie, music, digital music, and okay. This is a Cinema Studio 9.1 channel. So, this um, 5.1 home theater, you can uh, produce a virtual 9.1. Okay, let's turn on. Okay. 